Hey gang, Jack Allaire here. Uh, just was on my way to bed, checking out YouTube, and Lone Boy's Post 1975 posted a great question. So I had to immediately uh, come out here to the man shed and do a response. And let me read it verbatim. Uh, TV shows back in the day that were perfect for a game, but never got one. Now, his is Quantum Leap, and I agree 100%. That game would have been awesome as, like, uh, even now. Like, especially what, uh, what Telltale just did with The Walking Dead. Episodic content, every... You know, every episode, you're in a new time, you're in a new person, you're correcting things, and, you know, you got dialogue trees and little action parts. But after that, turns out kind of serendipity is that my sons and I were playing uh, Teen Titans for most of the most of the day today. Got home from work, we played it for like two, three hours. Uh, it's, a, it's a good game, give it a shot. Uh, but <clears throat> did a quick... Some quick research, which means I checked Google and YouTube to see if some of these ever had games. And the one I did not know about, and I'm glad I didn't know about it, and I'm going to try my best to forget it, is A-Team. And A-Team did get a game. It was on the Atari 2600, and after watching the video, it was total crap. Uh, it's just... Eh. Anyways, but... Moving up, right up there with Quantum Leap, one of the ones I thought of uh, that instantly popped into my mind was MacGyver. Now, I know that uh, there's kind of a spoof of that McPixel, which is kind of cool, and it does, uh, it does kind of hone in on some of the weirdness of MacGyver, but I think it would be fun. Point-and-click adventure game, a little bit of stealth elements in there, and it would just be really nice... It would make a really great game. Um, one that a lot of people may not know about is a show called Forever Night. It was based on the movie that was uh, had Rick Springfield in it. And basically what it is, is it is an, a vampire from medieval times that is living in modern day society as a police detective. And he goes through different things along the way, fights bad guys, of course, and, you know, whatnot. Now, uh, moving on. Adventures of Briscoe County Jr. This was an amazing game, or amazing, excuse me, not game, amazing TV show that had video game written all over it. It starred the, uh, the ever always awesome Bruce Campbell as the titular Briscoe County Jr., and they were reclaiming frauds to put in a machine to do something. I don't really remember the plot. I just remember I loved watching it and laughed every time I did. I mean, it's back, basically written as a video game. You could just allow me to walk around, shoot people, pick up, reclaim rods, put them in the little thing, collect them all. Uh, two cartoons that I'm really surprised, well, I'm not surprised no one's done these, because I liked them, but that's me. One is Thundar the Barbarian. Now, for those of you who don't know what Thundar is, Thundar is basically you take a little bit of Conan, a little bit of Star Wars, you smush them together, and there you go, you've got Thundar. But I would love to see this rebooted. I've got, like, there's a script in my head somewhere for it, but eh, I'm horrible at writing scripts. But it's got Thundar the Barbarian. It's got uh, Ukla the Mock, which is basically Chewy. And then it's got Ariel the Witch, or the Sorceress, whichever. But you got three characters, pick three characters, wander around, kill bad guys, solve problems for villagers, you know, whatnot. There's a big bad guy in running theme throughout it. And the other one is Silverhawks. Now, I love Silverhawks. Still do. Love the idea of, of metal people that they go, and then a the little visor comes down, they go, and then they got wings, and they can fly in space. 
Occasionally they fly in a spacecraft. They've got Bluegrass, who's a metal guy like them that apparently doesn't do the wing thing, but plays a guitar. Just really awesome. We got the Voltron game not too long ago. That was okay. That was good. I like the way that that got treated because Voltron was never all that serious and neither was the game. So the, but the number one, the number one thing, and, and it's, it's a TV show based off of a movie, but the movie and the TV show, everything put together, it just screams video game. Okay, let me, let me pitch this to you. Let me tell you the story, and you guys can probably guess what it is. All right, so it's, you're the son of a king, but you've been dethroned by some evil bad guys. Now, you find out that you are uh, able to talk to animals, and you've got a hawk that you can see through his eyes, and you've got a lion that'll come along and attack people, and you've got two little ferrets that'll go out and steal things, and... You, you can... Do you know what it is? It's Beastmaster! Mark Singer played him in the, in the, the movies, because they made more than one. I think they made four. Anyways. But it was a TV show in the 90s as well, as they redid most movies into TV shows then. And, I mean, it just screams video game! Come on! You're, you're walking around, you got a sword, you got special powers, you're like, oh, get them little weasels, and the weasels run out and grab stuff. I mean, take, you know, look at, look at, look at Dishonored. Brand new game out this year. You take Dishonored, you replace the, the powers with different animals that go out. And of course, something freaks my dog out. And we're back. Uh, I believe I was talking about replacing powers with animals. So, you know, instead of, like, telekinesis to get the keys, you gotta send the little, the little weasels out. Or you can even do a little weasel vision. Just like, oh, like the rats in Geist! Oh, God, I love that game. Anyways, but those are, those are just a handful of them uh, that I thought of. So, uh, just to uh, run down the list real quick again, because I did uh, write them down. Uh, A-Team ruled out, because it actually had a game, even though it was total crap. Uh, MacGyver, Forever Night, Adventures of Briscoe County Jr., Thundar the Barbarian, Silverhawks, and my number one with a bullet, Beastmaster. So hopefully someone will get around to uh, remaking these as games. And Lawn Boys Post 1975, awesome question. Kept me up an extra half an hour just to shoot this. Probably another 15, 20 minutes to upload it. So uh, thank you very much. And you guys should really go check out his channel. He asked some great questions. Uh, and has great comments and kind of some thought-provoking stuff. Yeah, some good questions, good meaty questions where you have to sit and think for a minute. And uh, that's it for me. As always, play on!